we're not just cooking today, we're doing some reputation repair. Because if there's any food that needs its reputation enhanced, it's these. Brussels sprouts. And that's because no vegetable in the produce section or served at the dinner table is as vilified as these. The humble Brussels sprout. And I understand why. If you've ever had a Brussels sprout, it's probably been boiled to death. And boiling is like the worst way to cook Brussels sprouts. And that's because boiling turns these nice, friendly, crispy vegetables into boring, grayish-green blobs that really don't taste very good and smell even worse. Today I'm going to show you a way better way to cook Brussels sprouts. One that actually is flavorful. One that you and your kids will enjoy eating. We are going to air fry them. Here's how. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook no matter your skill level. And today we're tackling Brussels sprout. Now trust me, if your experience eating these has not been good, I'm with you. I've had terrible Brussels sprouts as well. But after making them this way, I think you are going to love them. And it's really quick. It only takes about 20 minutes. Now a quick backgrounder on Brussels sprouts. Uh, they get their name from the city in Belgium. And look, all they really are is a baby one of these, a cabbage. In fact, I think Brussels sprouts might have their reputation enhanced just by a change of name. Instead of calling them Brussels sprouts, with all due respect to Belgium, a lovely country, maybe we should call them baby cabbage. Isn't that cute? So why are Brussels sprouts so bad when you boil them? Well, in addition to kind of leaching out their flavor, there's actually some chemical changes that take place, and that's why you get that smell, and then it just makes these things soggy. But when you do a dry cooking method, such as air frying, you actually concentrate their flavor. So you get something that is really flavorful and it's not all globbly. In fact, these turn nice and crispy, nice and crunchy. You even get some charred leaves. So I found that air frying is probably my favorite way of cooking these things. And now I'm gonna show you how. Now, if you're buying your Brussels sprouts off the stem or in bulk, you'll want to wash and dry them first. These have already been washed and dried. Now we're just gonna cut them up. Now, Brussels sprouts are pretty similar in size, but you'll notice there are some differences. For example, this is kind of a smaller guy. This is a larger one. But what we're gonna do is cut them in half or quarters, and we're just gonna do that lengthwise. So kind of the long end is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cut it just like that. And then for some of the larger ones, we'll just kind of cut them in a quarter, just like this. Basically what we're trying to get is similar size pieces. So I'm gonna cut these up and put them in a bowl. Okay, our Brussels sprouts are cut up into similar size chunks. And if you're a fan of air frying, you know what happens next. We're gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil just right on top of these, about, I'm gonna say about a tablespoon or two. This is what's going to help crisp them up. So we're just gonna coat these really well. And then we are going to season them really simply. I'm just using some black pepper here. Black pepper is a really good complement to Brussels sprouts, so I use quite a bit. And then just some salt. I've got some kosher salt here, but you could also use just regular table salt. You could also use garlic salt or even celery salt for a different flavor. Now we're just gonna give these a really good toss and pop them in the air fryer. Okay, all air fryers are a little bit different, but they usually have some sort of bin. So we are going to put our Brussels sprouts right into the bin. See how nice that is? Now what we're gonna do is we are going to air fry these at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes and we're gonna check them halfway through. We'll do 20 minutes at 400 degrees and I'll show you what it looks like about halfway through. We'll give them a toss.
These have been cooking for 10 minutes and let me tell you, it actually smells good in here and not like that noxious rotten egg smell that you get when you boil these. But let me show you where we're at with these. Again, they've been cooking for 10 minutes and when you look at this, we're already getting some really nice browning, some crisping of these Brussels sprouts. This is exactly what you want. So we're gonna give these a nice toss now the next five to 10 minutes, I want you to watch these really, really carefully. You want them to cook maybe a little bit more than this, but you don't want them to get like black or burnt. So we're gonna plug this back in and I'm gonna cook these for let's say about another five minutes. Then I'll show you how to put this all together when we're done and then finally give them a taste test. Okay, so I've been checking these and it's actually only taken 12 minutes for these to look perfect for my eye. Let me show you what they look like. And take a look at these. Look at that. Perfectly crispy, nice and charred. All of this from an air fryer. Isn't this way better than just boiling? Now to serve these, we will just dump them into a bowl here. Boy, they're so crispy that I can still kind of hear them like sizzling and you can tell that their leaves are, are super, super crisp. Now to finish these, I like to put just a little bit of lemon juice just kind of right on and this acid from the lemon juice is going to really kind of enhance their flavor. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of cheese to them. I'm adding like a Parmesan blend with some Italian type cheese. You could also use a, a vinaigrette or just a balsamic vinegar on these. And here's what you get. This beautiful bowl of air fried Brussels sprouts with cheese and just a little bit of lemon juice. All we have to do now is give one a try. Boy, look at this. Can you, can you hear them? They're so crispy. Look at that. Isn't that great? Mm. I am telling you, this is how to easily and quickly cook Brussels sprouts that actually have flavor. So these make a great side, you know, you can serve them with fish, chicken, steak, any sort of uh, main entree, or you can just kind of snack on them as is. Mm. So good. So that is how to quickly and easily make Brussels sprouts in an air fryer. Just like my air fried asparagus recipe, which I'll link to in the description below, we've taken a, let's say, controversial or maybe not much liked vegetable and transformed it into something actually delicious and it comes together so quickly. I mean, in this case, it only took 12 minutes from start to finish for these to be cooked and done. And I really hope you try these and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, I hope you want to cook.